Hi, I've been on this platform for seven years, and I gotta say, YouTube sucks, dude. It's not about creating or speaking your mind anymore. It's about copying and sharing the same takes. A YouTuber just made an apology video. You know who this person is? Uh, I don't really give a f about this person. <laughs> You wanna know why people talk about controversy all the time, even though a hundred other channels have given the same take they're about to give? It's because of views. You wanna know why a million people edit the same damn way? It's because of views. You wanna know why I personally don't care about editing anymore? It's because everyone edits the same now. When John Basso first opened the Heart Attack Grill, he had no idea that serving the world's unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Clean edits like this used to be the minority, and I don't know, somewhere along the line, they turned into the majority. Almost anybody can edit this way anymore. It's no longer gatekept or no longer creative, so... I stopped caring about editing. Regardless, it gets them views. And those views can turn into subs. And with enough subs, you're pretty much fine. You get a complacent fan base who a good portion of them are only watching you because it's easier than try to find someone smaller who's actually producing the same content but better or more creative. Everyone talks about these big channels as if they're the norm, but they're the lucky 1%. A lot of the best creators aren't even big or seen or have quit. Majority of the time someone blows up, it's not because of a creative idea. It's because they were following a trend or maybe an accident happened. And you know, they think, oh, I can snowball this and show off my creativity, but usually that's not the case. It's usually that their creativity gets hurt by people not seeing it, their videos getting less attention. Here was my best friend growing up. He has a lot of subs and he has a lot of views on his videos. He was an absolutely outstanding editor and we grew together. There was a time to where we were very small. We had like uh, less than like 200 subs and we were just working together and just like growing together. It was very, very nice. Would you believe I almost reached a thousand subs before him? We both started out being super small and kind of bad at editing at the time, but we grew together and we both had kind of unhealthy habits to improve, but we still loved content creation. His content focused more on being a very creative editor and adding these very beautiful effects. And mine was more, I, I kind of latched on into the commentary jokes and creating deep and interesting narratives that uh, personally connected me to people. I wanted people to love me for me. This is me genuinely being happy I reached a thousand subs. I was happy because it was a milestone. But it turned out to be my self-worth. By God, I grinded every day through all my pessimistic thoughts and depressive episodes. But you know which one of us got big? <laughs> yeah. And... It really irritated me, not because I wasn't happy for them, I was extremely happy, but they didn't blow up because of their creative work or extreme talent. It was actually kind of an accident. They made a fun little joke. That's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing. <laughs> This video randomly blew up for him, and I was extremely happy, but I can't lie that I was extremely jealous. I would have been the most happiest person if he would have blew up off of this creative idea he was always going for, like these, he was making montages at the time, and I would have been extremely happy if he blew up off of a montage, but... It was just a simple meme that didn't take him too much time. Even later on, when he was outpacing me in subs, I was happy because he earned it. But when he just 
this video came out and he accidentally got big. I grew, I grew extremely envious and broken inside. I knew at that moment that I couldn't simply be big. And it's because I had too much pride. I wanted to be super honest and unique and different from everyone else. And that is what brought me down. And although I believe for the past four years, I've been on point. I've been extremely versatile, extremely unique, extremely different, and always evolving. But it's extremely clear I failed. I wanted to push myself so hard and believe that someone in this world will see me. That someone would recognize the strides and consistency I had but not really. I see every day new people, lucky people, gaining subs off of chance that I can't really get. And I'm extremely happy for them. I'm at the point to where I am happy with myself and my progress and my growth as a person. I've done a lot, a lot that other people haven't done. It's just that when it comes to YouTube, numbers are extremely toxic. I sometimes get comments here and there asking why I don't care about editing or like why don't I edit more in my videos and it's simply because I'm burned out. I have so much left to offer and I love content creation, but for editing, I can't be editing 10, 20, 30 hours on a video just to have it perform like garbage. It's a genuine waste of my life and Everyone edits the same anyway to where nobody is really unique anymore. It's just reskins of content you just saw and I'm just not about it anymore. I went into this extremely niche pocket to where I can just speak my thoughts and have a good time. And I'm at the end of the day, I'm kind of fine with that. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. The past seven years have shown that. The past four years to where I pushed myself so hard to just have anything click but it's not happening youtube doesn't like me and although youtube doesn't like me i like the small little audience i've gathered i get like a hundred or two hundred sometimes maybe even a thousand views on a video and I'm kind of content with that. I appreciate everyone who stops by and watch, watches me talk about the topic I'm very passionate about and that I really love. Not a lot of people really care about that. And, you know, that's fine. I'm fine if I never get, I guess, as big as I always wanted to be. And in retrospect, I didn't even want to be that big. I have just always wanted a thousand K subs. Like... I just want to I just want a small audience to where, you know, I interact with them and we just have a good time and vibe. I don't need millions. I don't need millions of dollars, millions of subs, tens of thousands of subs. I don't I don't I don't I don't I I just I just want to have fun and express myself within the community. And I don't know if I'll ever get that, to be honest. So from a small YouTuber's perspective, YouTube sucks and it hurts. And I'm OK with that right now. I just want to make videos. That's all.